Welcome back to The Four Man, where we're setting out to make a better cup of joe for the average joe. In this companion episode of the French Press, we'll be trying a different technique that uses that French Press method. If you haven't, check out that previous episode where you'll find a more normal way to use the French Press to brew your coffee at home. The technique in this episode was first introduced to me on YouTube by an enthusiast and entrepreneur by the name of James Hoffman. Now later, I found that he lays this technique out in detail, step by step in his book, The World Atlas of Coffee. It's a great beginning resource for those people who are starting their coffee experience. So, let's see if this technique is an approach that fits you. All right, this is the second video for French press and the second technique. Uh, for this technique, we're gonna run through the steps fairly quickly. If you'd like a more detailed step-by-step -step breakdown of what we do each step, you're gonna click on or refer back to the previous video on the normal, um, the normal technique of the French press. Uh, at the end of this, we're gonna show you a more detail how this is different than the first. For this one, you're gonna need your whole beans, which we ground. This time, the grind is a little bit finer. With this other technique, you're going to grind them more uh, along the lines of that table salt granule. It's not gonna need to be that coarse breadcrumb like the first one. Our water's boiled. We're gonna pour our water in and heat the carafe. Third to half the way. And you're gonna see on this one why we do this. It heats the carafe and it eliminates any residue from that previous brew. And like I said, I like to play with my coffee, so you're gonna see me agitating and doing weird things. I'm gonna dump this out and we're gonna get ready to pour. This is nice and warm, ready for the grinds or the grounds. Here we go, grounds are going in. Right. I like to tap it a little bit to make sure they settle on the bottom. Now I'm going to do the first pour. Pour about a third of the way, half the way. On this one, you just want to wet the ground. I'm going to take my tablespoon, stir it. I'm going to make sure all of these grounds are saturated. Remember, this is sacrilege. Don't ever stir. <laughs> now I'm gonna finish the pour all the way to the top. Make sure to leave room for the plunger, the filter. And now, we are going to let this brew for three to four minutes. All right, we've let this brew now for three to four minutes. We're gonna remove the filter and plunger, and we're going to scrape the surface. Now, just like in the last one, when we scrape that surface, when we break the surface tension, the coarse grounds are gonna to start to fall to the bottom. Now, if you want to, you can actually scoop some of these out and rinse them in your sink or flush them down your sink, that's, that's fine. For this second technique though, you need a little time after these first three minutes of brewing. And notice I'm not stirring. We're not gonna agitate everything because a lot of it is already on the bottom. We just wanna make sure more of this gets to the bottom of the cup. I'm going to put the filter and press and plunger back on. Now I'm gonna let this sit for another five to 10 minutes. The longer the better because not only are those coarse grounds gonna find their way to the bottom, the sediment is also gonna find its way to the bottom, and then we can control that from getting in your cup. All right, we have now let the sediment and the coarse grounds fall to the bottom. On this one, we are actually not going to press all the way down. What we're going to do is we're going to submerge the filter just below the surface of the coffee. And it's not gonna be a press in this technique, it's gonna act as more of a sieve. Once I'm here, I am now ready to pour. On this pour, try to be as gentle as possible. It's gonna be more of a trickle. What I'm 
trying to do is to not let a fast release of those grounds at the bottom of the of the carat. See what I call it, the trickle. I would love for all of you to take away from this episode is not the actual French press technique itself. It's the idea that there are multiple ways to approach a brew method, any brew method. Coffee should not have a dogmatic set of rules. Anyone that says it has to be done this way, they should probably be taken with a healthy amount of skepticism. So play with it, try. It's your coffee experience. Enjoy your coffee.